Hey, Roundtable folks. So, spoiler alert, that's the topic today for our Roundtable replay. Have you ever wondered why movies like The Sixth Sense or The Usual Suspects or even Star Wars really got you with those twists and those surprise endings? And if they didn't get you, you're probably one of the few people. If you have not seen those movies, then I don't know what to tell you. Catch up. They've been out for a while. But the, <laughs> the, uh, the podcast that we're going to talk about today was once again from NPR's Hidden Brain. And the topic was, spoiler alert, why the movies and narratives that we love so much catch us by surprise. And so the gist of it is that some cognitive scientists have started doing studies and brain scans of folks uh, with their reaction to movies. And what they've realized is that movies give us a great insight into the um, cognitive biases that we as humans generally use. Um, they talked about anchoring bias, about confirmation bias, hindsight bias, all sorts of them. The one that I really clung on to and found fascinating, however, was anchoring bias. And that's our natural human tendency to get one or two data points and then cling to it and stick with it. And that becomes the story that we tell ourselves. It might be about another person, it might be about our particular experiences, but we are anchored in and locked into that point in time. And so why it really resonated for me was um, we do some work at Roundtable around releasing the tapes, letting go of the mental stories that we tell ourselves. And so that anchoring bias really kind of resonated. I see it being released in the peer roundtables that we run. So the person who's getting coached, you know, they get multiple perspectives around the particular scenario that they're being coached on because they're in a peer circle. And so when they start getting more than one data point, they start letting go perhaps of those anchors that might be holding them back and letting go of some of the stories they might be telling themselves. And likewise, for the people who are coaching, the peer coaches, they themselves are developing mental ma models and shortcuts to avoid having anchors um, around particular situations because they're developing their listening skills um, to what we call a level two or level three listening level. So they're listening not just to hear the story or connect with um, a particular point in time that connects back to them. Um, they're listening with curiosity um, and to hear perhaps uh, what's not being said, to have some degree of intuition. So that causes people to release their own kind of anchors and preset biases. Anyway, I found it fascinating for folks who have been Roundtable alumni, the concept of anchoring or releasing old tapes might resonate for you. Um, so you'll enjoy listening to this podcast. It's a quick one, 20 minutes, um, NPR's Hidden Brain, spoiler alert, uh, <laughs> and I will come to you another time soon with another podcast in our Roundtable replay. Talk to you soon.